a few games. Hogwarts Legacy. And I still think the game is way louder than me. But I'll have to adjust it after. After, after. Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz. We're back with my Let's Play series for... Oops, hit the button. Hogwarts Legacy. We're getting ready to start our first day. Gonna go see Professor Weasley who's waiting for us. So let's get on with our first day. Get out of these Hobbit doors. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've Indeed. been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, Ooh. your ordinary Ooh. wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. And here it comes. Here you are. And there goes all the pages we got to collect. <laughs> Like, well, you had him, now what you don't. It? it is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Let's do... This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic... Rebellion. ...and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Mm -hmm. Do keep come up. Come back for that page. You saw it, didn't you? That it flashed down there. Yeah, it's uh, tutorials making me stick with her. Simply cast Revelio on it. Revelio. Uh, we'll see what the guide says. Unless somehow it was showing that page, but I don't think so. House Elf Recipe Book Guide Pages. Rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's, that is a hard name to say, original creations. This book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorites recipes over the centuries. Some dishes, like pickled dirigible, dirigible plums, dirigible plums? Isn't that like a thing, dirigible? Or am I thinking of something else? I don't know. Are likely an acquired taste. Dirigible. Where have I heard that word before? You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. And open the field guide. We're opening it. And hey. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. So I'm level one. And it's got the little huffin, Hufflepuff symbol on it. And that wants me to go down here. Go down here. This says, each challenge has tiers, special rewards unlock. At each tier you complete from appearance to critical upgrades. Huh, all I've seen thus far is cosmetics rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu you come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked clever isn't it keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle let's have some nuts peanuts almonds mixed nuts revelio uh... Ah, 
our flu flame. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. All right, so I got a question for all you guys that are Harry Potter people. I have never read the books. I've only seen the movies, and I don't remember them having flu flames in the movies. So is that a thing in the books? Or is it in the movies and I just missed it? I don't know. Let me know. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the Great Hall. Select the Great Hall region to continue. All right. In this view, you can see flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you've discovered, in, including your house House common room, green flu flames reveal locations of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you will find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex region to continue. And then Professor Weasley has unlocked a central hall flu flame for you. Use the stick to rotate the map. And fast forward, you can either go here or go up here. I like doing the one on the left. It's easier to get to most of the time because the flu flames I like to snap to and it always takes me to the wrong one. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Revelio. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Roger. Roger, Roger. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Yeah, but I'm afraid for your own protection because you're a nice lady. I'm going to tell you that there's nothing. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. 
Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Alright, uh... Revelio. Yeah, I thought there was a page on the side. Central Hall Fountain. This ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of denizen of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. Perhaps you should work on your and it lets you use it, so I always wonder... Well, it's not letting me use it right now. It's kind of weird. Mom would be the knees or the looks of our eh, maybe job. after I... It's good to class. see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Yeah, I didn't like the lie. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little receptive. Protection. That said... I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Opening the map. Open. All right. This icon represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlocking new features and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spells or level requirements, and they will have an icon with a lock on them. In this, these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the requ required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be erased by completing professor's assignments, which are the scroll looking icons, or as guest quest rewards. Track a, qu a quest with the A to continue. All right, I wanna do the charm class because then we can start grabbing these pages that are floating around. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. ways to go I think to get to the class I do enjoy running around Hogsworth I don't know what it is about it just kind of pleasant to run around 
You know, I, I do wonder if there's something about petting cats. There are a, a lot of pet, uh, cats around, and you can pet them all. I'm wondering if there's a hidden quest or something for that. I'm, I haven't seen anything out there about that, but I would find it kind of interesting if there wasn't, to be honest with you, because... There are so many of them. I hate Transfiguration if it wasn't for you. Here we go. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? He's got way anyone? too much energy. Anyone? Mm hmm? He's lay off that tea uh, that he's got uh, pouring uh, behind I him. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right, we get to learn another spell. This one is very useful. Accio. Accio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Yeah, I, I like him as a professor. Professor, He's uh, interesting and keeps things going. And I like Natty, too, so... She's good peeps. So I don't like the part that's about to come up. I don't like beating her in this game, <sighs> but... I gotta get I've those always found that fun goes points. hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? All right, let's see if I can do this to perfection. Right. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and... Very good! Come on, there you go. Yeah, you. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marble... Splendid! Keep going, keep going, yeah. Excellent control there. Very good. 
points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Sweet, I didn't realize if you got 50 on You'll all be the three, blues, you got just as before. And Miss Onai, house. you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let's go. Natty, I ain't gonna take it easy on you just because uh, I like you. Here we go. Phew. Nope, that one. Let's go. Akio. That's it. Watch this. Oh, you want to make it That is how it's done. All right, let's see here. Nicely done. Be sharp. Hey, every time that I try to knock hers go. off, I always end up knocking mine off. So I'm just going for Akio. points. I like that. Boom! A perfect score. Remarkable. Now, let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? It's a little more difficult. Not too bad, though. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. I mean, that might be too hard. Oh, good. Phew. Thought I'd let go of the dad. A tad Very too good. late. A tad too late. Watch the dash too late. I don't know. I'm not cooking, so it's not a dash, so it's got to be a tad. All right, let's. That is how it's done. Grab this one on the outside first. Sit down. Here we go. Yes. Yeah, but I've already beat you. <laughs> Akio. Ooh, all three scores are perfect. Two perfect rounds. You're a natural. Points, Taffle Puff. Eight in points. I want them points. Very good, both of you. Well done. What, no points to Hufflepuff? Come on. I won. I should get points. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle, like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. 
It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand? Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. All right, let's go talk you to you. Word, if you would. If you you wanted to it. speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay, if you're a charms teacher, why do you have an Iron Maiden in your room? What is that about? Rebellion. All right, so I heard a ding, and that does that mean that there is is that a chest or is there a page? Hello I'm there. You're sure the new student, means. aren't you? Uh, I guess she wants to talk to me. Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Should I brag? No, I'm not the bragging type. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Revelio. All right, so map and next class. Side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts marked as Flags and discovered by exploring the world, these crests reward XP, but do not advance the main story. Good to know I can become stronger and not advance the main story. Oop, we need to go this way, but ah. is there a page over here? And someone says something nice to you. Akio. Where, were, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it. The Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. That ghost is a pain. Alright, so we're gonna keep going down. Revelio. Oh wait, we got a chest and a page over there maybe? Was there a page where did that? What? Oh no, that's just some kind of weird reflection. Alright, that must be the ray tracing going on. Alright, let's go. I want to get these classes over with so I can get Levioso. Oops, it's the other way. Down, going down, down, baby. Something in a range or something like that. It's been a long time since I've heard that, so whatever happened in Nelly, anyways. 
Revelio. Looking for pages. Why do I get a feeling there's going to be something back here? What the heck is that? Huh. That might be something later. And... Flu Flames. Get it. How nice to see you, my young friend. You always know when you got a flu flame because they like to talk to you. Stupid Stupid Is that all you've got? Yeah. Livio Soul! Professor Hecket! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso is a very useful spell as well. Levioso. They always make fun of it, though. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent Levioso. is good. Now, well done. Fell Very face. good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should Levioso. be good form. I know. This can't be your first duel. Let's just Protego. I'm all of my students. Levioso. I do enjoy a lively duel. She couldn't take her eyes off of me. She watched me the whole time, didn't even Not look at him. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I didn't get anything there. You didn't hit me with nothing. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Noise. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to no have the noise. opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. 
I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I just noticed there's a bunch of weird stuff in these cabinets. Like, what is that? Some kind of mermaid? Merfolk there? Or a small one? What are these things? And what? Is that a werewolf? What? That looks menacing. Uh, I saw that. I saw it. I saw it. There's a page. Revelio. Give me my page. Hebridean Black Skeleton. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against the Dark Arts classroom, classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecat after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern Wales during the Great Poaching Raid of 1878. What year does this game take place in? You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. All right, so let's go chat with nice Sebastian. Work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. This would be a lie, but... This is kind of bragging, like, yeah, I've been around the block, I know what's up. Ah, uh, neither one of these is a good option. Well, I'll just be honest. I've jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Oh, huh. and that makes it Fair even worse. Enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. A little bit of Till next boating there, it seems, with the whole restricted section of the library. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Why does this guy remind me of Urkel? All right, uh, doesn't look like the other quest has shown up yet. New now, now it shows up. As soon as I jump out of there. All right, let's head to Weasley after class. Oops, down we go. Revelio. Oh, and I don't see anything. There definitely was a ding. If Hogwarts survives the reign of this headmaster, I think we should have a moon calf in charge. Never forget what that Hufflepuff girl said in 1421. What lovely stone. Ah, oh, that's class, that is. Is that the gargoyles talking? I think there's one right here. Revelio. Don't know where many of them are, but. See, there's another cat you can pet. 
I don't know. They seem to have gone to a lot of work with these cats to have them not do anything. Weasley after class. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Mm. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Better than disfiguration magic, I guess. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I think I'd prefer Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. So I think it the butterbeer is non-alcoholic because they seem to let kids drink it. Uh, there, no. Speak to Professor Ronin to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with a new spell. Nice. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the main, in the quest menu of your field guide. I just want to get this item right here. Revelio. Is there anything else in here? I hear a ding, but I can't really tell where it's coming from. Oh, there we go. 
Professor Ronan. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Right. This is the right area. Got it. A flying page, page must be around here somewhere. There Brilliant. Just the two. That was too easy. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. How did I not get that flu flame when I came through here before? No idea. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Some vigor. Remember. Your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Ah, things like that give you experience. Nice. Gotta find some more broken stuff. Revelio. All right, now, what is the next step? Oh. Wait, there's a chest over here? Mm, where is it? It's in that. Right here? Oh. Um, yeah, I don't know how these quite work yet. I'll have to figure them out. And if there's a key for that. Get here. over here! Get over here! I'm walking here. That is a little creepy the way that they kind of come at you. Page, get it. I wonder if that's still the case. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Lumos. Alrighty, there's a flu flame where just get it. Oh good. I thought I was gonna be locked in or something, that would have been sucky. Guess I could have just flew flamed out of there. Flu flames makes me I feel like I'm saying foo fighters or something. What was that? Revelio! Is that one of these guys? Hummy? It 
It's about time Hogwarts put someone like Black in charge. Perhaps now we can stop all these... She's levitating a bug, or is that a... Whoever decided to make Professor Black headmaster of Hogwarts... Revelio. ...of a flock of whoopers. Out of their minds. Wooden cat. This wooden statue bears the likeness of Pengerdon, fearless feline mouse hunter and devoted study champion. Okay. French. If only Black had the power. All right, we're gonna save here. When we come back, we're gonna go with Natty to the, the village and explore that that's where we're going to get a lot of experience because there's a lot of pages and stuff there and then after we get back from the the town the village that's where i don't really know what happens so that's about as far as i've gotten so i'm looking forward to seeing what happens after so anyways until next episode take care bye bye now static buzz revelio out. do i have any Gear I can put on, I do. I got gloves. And there's nothing. There's not even armor on these things. Oh well, at least then I can change my look. Four and zero. Uh, both the same. So which one looks better underneath? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to change the look next episode anyways.